In this part of the tutorial, we are going to show you how to create multi-actions and how to add sound effects along with the animated sequences in an easy way. We are also going to show you how to export the 3D model as a 3D PDF file with a customized design. Part 3. We are going to add a sound effect to play while the drawer is opening and closing. Before adding the sound, we had one multi-action that contains two animated sequences. Drawer open and drawer close. The multi-action run mode in this case was set to loop, in order to play the first sequence, then the second one, and repeat in a loop. To add the sound effect, we are going to replace the animation sequences with a multi-action that contains both the animation sequences and the sound. With the multi-action run mode set to run all, since we need to play the sequence and the sound at the same time. In order to do so, select the drawer, go to the Object Attributes tab, Notice that the multi-action run mode is loop. Click on Action List to replace the animated sequences. Double-click the drawer opening sequence to edit it, and change it from Play Sequence to Multi-Action. Now change the multi-action run mode from Loop to Run All. Now you can add a sequence drawer opening, and its sound effect. Repeat the same steps for the closing sequence. Notice that now there are two multi-actions. Each one contains two separate actions. Click on the VR Workbench and choose Start Desktop Viewer in order to see the result. Now we are going to export our model as a 3D PDF file. Simlab Composer allows you to create and manage 3D PDF files easily while maintaining the ability to present your 3D models along with the actions and sequences assigned to it. From the File menu, select 3D PDF, then select Settings. Simlab offers you a collection of ready-to-use templates to choose from, or you can edit or create your own template. Click New to create a new template. Set the size you want for your PDF file, then click OK. You can apply a fill mode and choose a single color. Then begin by designing the page by adding images and text using the tools available in the template editor. Or you can apply a PDF document as the fill mode, where you can use a PDF file that you've already designed as the background for your template. Now we have our PDF file ready to have a 3D area added to it. Modify the 3D area's shape and size to control which part of the template would view the 3D scene. From the File menu, select Save. Type in a name for your new template. Then click on Save. Then exit the SimLab Template Designer. Click on Refresh to reload the templates. Look for your template within the Templates Library, then select it. SimLab Composer allows you to add attachments to your PDF file. You can easily attach any images or files related to your project to the PDF file for easier management and containment. Switch to the Page tab, then click on the plus button, add the attachments, select the file you want to attach, then click Open. You can add as many attachments to the PDF documents as needed. Once you are done, click on Export and type in a name for your PDF file. Then click Save. In the Manage Scene States dialog, you can select which scene states to export with the PDF file. Make sure that all the needed scene states are checked, then click OK.
Click on the interactive objects to run the actions assigned to them. To access the files attached to the exported 3D PDF, click on the Attachments button in the PDF Reader. SimLab Composer grants you the ability to display multiple actions and configurations for your 3D design in a single PDF file that can be read and used easily.